Let's go ahead and create the reinforcing pad, which is this one. But first, go to Coordinates Panel and select the Z-axis vector. Click anywhere on the screen and move the direction of the Z-axis parallel to the shell or the vessel. The next step is to draw the shell. Just ignore the heads. So circle, click anywhere on the screen, type D for diameter option, and enter 48, which is the outer diameter of the vessel, or the outside diameter. And the thickness for that is 1.04 inches. So I'm just going to use offset command, so O for offset, enter, and enter 1.04. Click this circle and click inside the circle. And the length of the shell is 120. So I'm going to extrude this one. So extrude command inside the modeling panel and enter 120. I'm going to change this to wireframe. I'm going to draw a guide, align as a guide. So from quadrant to quadrant, and then draw another line from midpoint of that line, and uh, maybe about 40. I'm going to change this back to realistic, or maybe shaded with edges. I'm going to draw the flange or the nozzle, but first I'm going to change the direction of the Z parallel to the direction of this line. So C for circle, click that in point, type D for diameter option, and enter. So the OD of the flange as shown here is um, 20, so enter 20. And the width of the re pad is 10, so I'm gonna offset this um, OD. So, all for offset command and enter 10. Click this one and click outside. I'm just gonna change the layer for that so it's easier to see. Maybe red and extrude this one downward up to the center. And then subtract command from the ribbon inside solid editing panel. Click the object you want to keep. Right click and select the object that you don't want or to subtract. And subtract command again from the ribbon. Click this object here. Right click and select the object inside. There you go. Now I'm going to remove this portion here. So I'm, what I'm going to do is create another one. Another circle here and extrude, but you can skip that. Just go to solid editing panel, click this uh, drop down arrow here, and copy this edge here. Enter. Base point. Select center. And select center again. Exit. Grab that uh, circle and extrude it up to that quadrant. Subtract command from the ribbon. Click this object that you want to keep. Right click and select this object that you want to subtract. Now go back to solid editing panel and select intersect command and select these two objects I'm just gonna move this one a little bit near the vessel and bring this to front view
right view. And I'm going to compare. See this repad, the end here. This line is perpendicular to this curve here, unlike this one here. So in order to do that, because the distance from this point to this point is not uniform. So in order to do that, I have to explode this one. X for explode, select the object. I'm going to change this to wireframe. See, this is the surface that we need. We don't need the other ones. So I'm just going to delete that. Delete this one here. And delete this one. And thicken this object. Select Thicken inside Solid Editing. Thicken this one. And the thickness is um, of the repad is 1.56 as shown here. And enter 1.56. Enter. Now I'm going to move this one. From endpoint to endpoint or quadrant, I'm just going to use endpoint of that line. There you go. I'm just going to change this to realistic. And I'm going to show you using x ray. And as you can see here, it's uh, the fit is perfect. I think we are done. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for notification and see you again.